Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in front of us we have a Hummer Fast Track 65mm 8 lever padlock, um, which is double locking, which I think means it's got a double locking pole at the top. Um, now, this clearly is nothing to do with Hummer, the company who makes those military vehicles, and you can buy these um, online, I think they're from India. Um, in a number of different copyright infringing designs. Um, and it, this one really annoys me. It, it says it's got eight levers and it's possible the key has one, two, three, four, five, six, possibly seven, eight sort of cuts on it that you could maybe think, yep, that's about right. Um, but I don't think it has because the curtain itself here is free spinning, it doesn't tension the bolt. So automatically one of those positions unless it's tensioning from this tip, doesn't seem to be, um, and it doesn't feel like it is either, it doesn't seem to be quite right. And it, it feels very, very springy all at the same time, like a very strong spring on the key, which if it was interacting with one or two levers at a time, I wouldn't expect that unless they were like crazy, crazy, crazy thick levers. Um, now, I suspect there isn't actually eight levers in, in here, but I, I don't know that for sure. I've tried to, in, like get an impression of it by putting some um, Sharpie marker on the key and seeing where it rubs and it, it looks like there's some rubbing on the inside but that could just be warding it could be a couple of levers it's really hard to tell now I think this is actually possibly the first time I personally destroyed a lock on the channel and I, I, I don't really want to but I am I'm going to try to prise off the back and if it doesn't prise off well I'm gonna grind it off um, yep I'm gonna get really, really mean with this lock and just see what is on the inside of this. All right, back in a minute. Well, I took a lot more care over that than I thought I would. Um, but we managed to drop the back off and so sort of press fit around this uh, flanged back. And you can see here that uh, I've ground away the shackle because it seemed to be something holding it back and it's a bit, gross on the inside this is brand new there we go so let's see what we can find out on the inside of this lock shall we assuming I can get the whole thing out now come on Okay, yep, yep, that's looking good so far. Oh, we're in. Okay, so what is in this gross looking lock? Let's put that key in. And move the light in a little bit better for you. It, well, it does actually look like it's uh, not aligning the key properly in the locker, I don't think. There you go, but it does actually look like it's got uh, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight levers. So I guess I'm my I'm proved wrong. These do actually have eight levers in. So there you go. And the reason why this felt so strong on um, in terms of spring is because um uh levers one two three seven and eight all work at the same time so they you can see how it's um under a lot of spring tension uh the only thing i would say is that uh levers um, four five and six don't don't even need to be lifted i don't think they don't they're not even acted upon uh is it a double locking pull? Yes, actually it appears to be. So this this is actually quite, actually quite a uh, um, a good example of how that could work. Is they're both facing this way, and when you turn the lock to open it, this mechanism slides across and allows the locking pull to come out of. There you go. both of 
those notches in the shackle. Interesting, interesting little lock. And certainly um, better than I thought it would be. In fact, you can see the, the gates in the levers just there. So it's interesting, um, it's an interesting uh, upstand there, isn't there? If you, if you look, the so where the bolt stump, I guess if you want to call it that, goes under the levers, there you go. But again, if you look, it's not the full lever pack that's lifted. In fact, there are no gates in, ah, there doesn't seem to be any, uh, doesn't seem to be gates in any more than the first three and the last two uh, levers. So there you go. So maybe the maybe the other levers just act like um, a, some form of warding or something, but they certainly don't act like full levers. In fact, in fact, can we even lift them at all? Let's get a. Oh, what could I grab this? In fact, no, you can't lift those levers. So, ah, it's actually only a five lever and the uh, and the other three levers, oh yeah, are actually, ward, um, are actually acting like warding. So this is actually not, I thought I was wrong. And this is actually only a five lever lock with, and the three other lever positions in the middle are just acting like some kind of warding. And that's it. Ah, now I understand. Well, I'm glad we discovered that together. Um, and you can see there that uh, there is actually some protection against overlifting the levers there, you can see, which is quite interesting. Um, so you can see the gate, although it's incredibly wide, actually has um, a fence on the bottom and the top, which is really more than I expected. So um, it, it is a bit better than I thought it was going to be actually. It is actually double locking at the top. Um, it does have more than the one lever I suspected it did have. Um, and in terms of how it tensions, because the key goes all the way through to the back. So it is the last position which does actually tension the bolt mechanism there so it does engage with a talon and slide the um the whole mechanism back uh interesting interesting stuff indeed it makes me think can you just engage with that um talon and pull back the whole mechanism hmm uh no 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 you can't because of the uh the upstand yeah that's that's actually that's actually fair enough okay cool well, um, the only other thing to say is um, the shackle does appear to be relatively hard. I was grinding away at the softer metal of the body, and this seems to have some hardening. I mean, see where the grinding disc um, skittered across. It has made some marks, but nothing like it's um, done in terms of eating its way through the the, uh, the softer metal, which I think might be some kind of stainless steel as well, actually, um, of the lock body. Ah, so there you go. Well, I've actually enjoyed um, exploring that lock. If you ever see one of these, bear in mind that it isn't actually an eight active lever lock. Um, anything like this is more likely to have less levers. And as you can see here, um, that lever pack uh, has three in the middle, which are, are just act as warding. Interesting stuff. All right, hope you enjoyed that. I've enjoyed uh, uh, exploring this lock and seeing uh, what's inside it. Um, hope you did too. Okay, I'll see you next time.